Hey guys, welcome to the next installment in the Rocket Power Grid Power User Series. In this series of videos, we're going to be showing you how to go beyond the limits of the already very flexible Power Grid editor to create your own grids and your own buttons. These videos are intended for experienced Power Grid users, so it is best to have some previous knowledge of making grids and Power Grid before attempting these tutorials. If you are new to Power Grid, please check out our other videos here to get yourself up to speed. This week we are looking at the much requested toggle button function. On some of the grids we've had buttons that have multiple graphics. That way we can create a toggle button. What's also great about these toggle buttons is that you can create more than one function per button. And it has a cool graphic effect as well. Due to their complexity, toggle buttons are not possible with the standard editor. But they can be implemented with this plugin toggle button grid that we've created. You can download the grid and all its controls from here. Make sure after each step you completely restart Power Grid from scratch. That way Power Grid can apply any changes that you may have made. The best way to be certain is to use Control Q to quit the program completely. Once this grid is imported, you can access all the controls from here and put them into your own grids. Since these are plug-in buttons, you cannot change the graphics or functions inside the Power Grid Editor. So today we're going to show you how. There are two ways to change the graphics of these toggle controls. One way is just to overwrite the graphics in the resource folder. And the second one is changing the code in the plugin.json file. For this tutorial we'll be changing the graphics of this red switch to the state switch graphic. For the overwrite method, it pays to first make backups in the current graphics folder. The graphics are located here. The easiest way to do this is just to rename the file extension. This way they stand out from the other graphics in the folder and we know that we've made enough backups. Then we simply paste our new graphics files into the same folder. Then we rename the new graphics to the same names that our red switch graphics have. So now when we relaunch Power Grid, the graphics are now changed. Simple. However, there's another way to do this, which is more cleaner and doesn't require any tampering with your graphics files. First of all, place your new graphics in the resource folder. Now it's time to change some of the code. Open up the plugin.json and use the control F to find our red switch graphic. This section of code tells Power Grid what graphics to assign to what control. We can back up the old switch's code by copying the code we wish to edit and simply using the slash asterisk here and then the asterisk slash here to tell Power Grid to ignore the backed up section of the code. We can now change this to a state1.png graphic for its on and off states. If we restart the Power Grid launcher, you can see the graphic has changed. If you want to go further into your editing, you can also change the control set name here just by using the same way as you did before, the toggle.controlset.json file by finding the name of our control, which we can see in the Power Grid editor, and changing it to the new name, which is state. To add functions to our controls, we can simply paste macros from the Power Grid editor into the toggle.qs file. All we need to do is open up a blank control, add assign a macro, record your macro function, then grab the macro code from the box here. Then we open up the toggle.qs file, and then we paste our macro right here. Remember, you can assign more than one function to each state of a control. So now we're going to add another macro for the control's second state, using the same thing again. Now when we relaunch Power Grid, we can test our keyboard macros by opening up WordPad, and then press the button on the grid of our mobile device. Bam, there you have it. Simple. Now the QS files here are JavaScript, so anything that you can do in JavaScript, you can do in Power Grid toggle controls, you can even add sounds as well. So if you have some JavaScript experience, feel free to let your imagination run wild. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial, feel free to use our comment section of this video or in the Power Grid forums. Thanks for watching.